Hi. I say buenos dias. I don't like to say good morning because I'm not morning anything. No. Sometimes we have to use other languages other than English. It's such a spell casting, you know, spelling language. And the more we focus on the language and the more we focus on knowledge in a sense of the outer realms, uh, the less we know about ourselves and who we are. And who we are is more important than what is manifesting in the creation. And when we're really who we are, obviously, what will manifest around us must be in tune with who we really are. So my topic is um, prospering in your right livelihood. And it's not about prosperity, meaning money, that kind of a prosperity. I'm talking about prosperity of the soul, of the heart, of who you really are. And that means abundance, the abundance, rather than the scare city. And this scarcity is that belief that keeps people in fear for the, lo for the loss of the physical body, the fear of death. So it's this fear of the biggest lie, death. Because when you drop this concept or this physical expression somehow, this three-dimensional reality, you're still going to be who you are as you are now maybe conscious of the astral plane, but realize that's the astral plane. That's where you are with your, your mind, your intelligence, and your false ego. And manifesting, your thoughts manifesting, in a sense, instantly because they don't go through matter or dense matter. But there's that who you are is beyond the subtle body of the false mind intelligence and false ego because you have divine mind, divine intelligence, and divine ego. And that the false is not the opposite, in a sense, for the absolute has no opposite. You have no opposite. Any opposition has to be the opposition in our own mind. So when we're prospering in our life's work or our right livelihood, first of all, you have to realize you don't have to earn a living. You don't have to survive because who you are, you are life. You already have it. It's who you are. You cannot die. And you always have consciousness. And consciousness, according to the Vedas and the Puranas of the ancient knowledge in Sanskrit, is that consciousness includes what you know and what you do with what you know, your actions. The thing is, it could be what you know isn't so. So that if we're operating on false information we're going to have results that reflect the false information. So how do we discern false from real? We know. We know. We always know. Then we go, oh well, what do I know? Well, you do know. And even in the knowing, we know that there is more that we can know about ourselves and our relationship with our source, our God, and therefore with each other. I like being here at Mount Shasta and being at the lake and 
yesterday we were up on Shasta Mountain, Mount Shasta, and and as we you know walk up and down, there's people that we meet as we're do filming these our videos here, and um, what's so cool too are the people that are there that you just from everywhere all over the world, certain places more than others. And by just having a short conversation of something really cool, you know, there's a lot of great people out there. So aware, so, so in tune with nature and players, so much fun. And then the other people, I don't know, they're real serious. They're out there in nature, but they're serious about it. You know, we're in nature, we're, we're hiking it, we're, we're, we're on it. So, well, is that how you're doing everything? Like it's a sport? Life's not a sport. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. So how you prosper doing right livelihood in the sense of prosperity is that state of, of knowing and being yourself without limitation. And and yet in a, one sense there's a limitation, but it's not a limitation. It's just the nature of our beingness. That we're not the totality, yet we're part of that, uh, of the totality, these are labels. But we have those same qualities. So then you do the work. That means you give your gifts of talents or uh, services or uh, products or offerings to others for their well-being and they also give back in return because thank you just oftentimes mean though well, that's the end of it I just thank you really what did you give back oh well I said thank you really how does a person live on thank you and not even live on that we begin we still the words thinking we live because of these bodies that's not true we are life animating these bodies. Yes. And all the living entities. And you are at this uh, time to be able to perceive and know all this and to own the powers that you have. Calling those forth with your, from your source with you in the silence of your being ask for what you desire to know and to be who you are fully but we think well that will be the end no ever not just an ever ongoing spiral that goes up and down in a limited up and down reality no like a lotus ever blossoming and the fragrance of our true being is exquisite plus the soma generated from the bodies and the pleasure in the mind in the heart in the soul is the drinking of the nectar of divine love by loving yourself but yourself myself is I don't love Terry this name no my my partner my beloved I am part of and also individual that we're all lovers of our divine and when we do we are the divine we are the pleasure. And we only experience the real prosperity of our right livelihood is when we offer our goods and services that resonate with our true divine nature 
rather than a computer program of how we're supposed to be, what we are. Told we get these limited, this is who you are. You're gonna tell me? No. And this is one of the great teachings of the great, uh, I think, of the Vedas. And you can find and you'll discern truth everywhere then when you know it and know how to trust your inner knowing will tell you. So you don't just throw out what we call religion because we say, no, to do something religiously means to be a disciple. It means you do it as a practice. So if you take that to the highest, the practice of being yourself in divine love with your beloved, ever increasing pleasure of the soul, the feminine, in love with the masculine, the spirit, manifesting fully in each of us, in our wholeness. Yeah. So the prospering is the greater and greater pleasure that you feel and know within yourself. And you wish all, all cells in the divine self the greatest eternal soul pleasure.